Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, with our update for Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Free pick in the NBA coming up on this report. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video, free $60 account, as simple as that. All right, listen, we are just a day away uh, from some college football. My first premium pick of the college football season goes on Thursday. You'll be able to grab that. And as you know, there's a handful of games slated between Thursday and, of course, Monday night, Navy taking on BYU. I will be in action at at least one game, and that is uh, the Thursday game. So you can check that out. Four-star play. As you know, if you've been watching us, we are up over $9,500, closing in on $10,000 ahead for $100 per unit betters, going all the way back to uh, late September of 2018, a couple of years now over at DocSports.com. So uh, jump on board if you wish. You can get the entire season football package, other packages over there also on my Handicappers homepage. More on that game, by the way, on Thursday's video. Also wanted to mention my top play for Wednesday is in the WNBA. Uh, we won again yesterday. We're now 14-3 and on our current run in the WNBA, up over $5,200 for $100 per unit betters. And also wanted to mention that now going back to last year, we are on a 65 and 38, 63% WNBA run. It's my top play on Wednesday, six star play in the WNBA. We'll look to extend that run to 15 and three. Uh, unfortunately, lost last night in NBA. I went money line with the Raptors, laid a buck 20. It was 199 late. Thought they might steal a win, but they lose 102 to 99. Went into yesterday on a 60% NBA run, so we'll look to get back in the win column. I have the side between the Heat and the Bucks. We cashed in game one with the Heat, and uh, you'll be able to see if we're jumping in with the Heat again or if we're going to take the Bucks and lay the points with Milwaukee. Anyway, that plays over at DocSports.com. Uh, coming to you a little bit late. We're getting ready to watch some KBO. It's almost 5.30 in the morning Eastern time, 2.30 a.m. Pacific out here in Las Vegas. I just had so many soccer games to handicap. I'm in action with one Brazilian game, Serie A game on uh, Wednesday's card, afternoon game. And uh, we also wanted to jump into the Nations League, which of course will be kicking off on Thursday. And so I uh, spent a whole lot of time handicapping soccer. More on that, but if you do want to jump on board with soccer on Wednesday, I do have one uh, Brazilian Serie A game for Wednesday afternoon. All right, let's get to it. Again, don't forget about football. Uh, you can get those over at DocSports.com. Let's get to our free play here. It is the matchup between Oklahoma City and Houston. And man, I tell you what, if you look at the Rockets, when they just hang on to the ball and don't lose the handle so much, uh, they're pretty good, obviously. Uh, they've had three games, one, two, and five, where they've averaged about eight turnovers per game. They've also had a few games where they can't hang on to the basketball. If you watch the game the other day, uh, the uh, close loss, you saw some just bad decisions being made by Russell Westbrook. First of all, he did look a little bit rusty. I think he should be even more effective in this game. I think he's going to be pretty fired up in this game for Houston. Uh, but down the stretch, when James Harden should have been handling the basketball, Russ was doing too much of that and committed some turnovers, some costly plays on the offensive end. And give you know, give give the uh, give Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder credit where it's due. They took advantage. They were down 98-92. Westbrook made a few mistakes next thing you know they come back and they steal the win so to speak but i don't think that's going to happen here i don't you know foresee a huge blowout victory like we saw uh, the game prior to the last one uh, when the rockets just went absolutely nuts but i do think they pull away from okc in this one and cover the spread so oh, a couple of quick notes as far as angles if you're into that stuff oklahoma city one and five against the spread off a straight up win houston on a 15 and 7 ats run against teams playing better than 600 bats basketball and we happen to like that particular stat again uh, Russell Westbrook far from his best last game out, game out I think he makes a difference in this one and uh, I like Houston to end the series and move on and do so by a spread covering margin the Rockets are free play don't forget over at uh, DocSports.com my handicappers homepage on Wednesday we do have the battle the game two battle between the Heat and the Bucks we have the six star in the WNBA we'll look to extend the run to 15 and three there football don't miss out this week. Uh, just a tremendous run the last few years on the gridiron. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll talk to you again late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning.